right to it then. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Where we'll start the conversation is where the assumption comes from. The very first thing I'm going to tell you, my dear sisters, is that always question assumptions. Where does the assumption that so many of, we hear this, we hear this not just, by the way, it's not just from men. I hear this very often from women too. That a woman should stay at home. It's an assumption. Where does the assumption come from? That's the question. You see, when you say a woman's place is her home, it can mean a lot of different things. And this is what we're going to break down together. I have heard in scholarly circles, both men and women, try to use the verse in the Quran that talks about, does anyone know the verse? Thank you. Now, those of you who've been attending the Friday night halakas, we're going over the text called Maharimul Lisan, the prohibitions of the tongue. And just a few weeks ago, we talked about the prohibition of taking out of context verses of the Qur'an or hadith. You see, the Qur'an was revealed in which it has multiple and heavy meanings. And even if you are a native Arabic speaker, you can't just open the Qur'an or even the body of hadith and say, oh, I think it means this. Even if that's what seems it like on the surface or seems like a literal explanation of the verse. You see, this ayah is ayah 33 in chapter 33, Al-Ahzab. And it starts out, وَقَرْنَ فِي بِيُوتِكُنْ But it is right in the middle of a series of verses that come before it. See, context is everything. You have to understand sabab al nuzul Why did this ayah, why was this ayah re uh, revealed? What was the sabab of its revelation, the reason for its revelation? There's a series of verses. And it starts out addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his wives. It's a series of verses that talk about at the way, you know, the, the point of it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying to the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you wives are the mothers of the believers who have a special place in Islam. You, thereby, you have special rules that belong only to you. Furthermore, you have a choice. If you wish the dunya and the embellishments of the dunya, the Prophet can free you and you don't have to be his wife. But if you choose to be a wife of the Prophet وسلم, you have special rules that apply to you. If you want Allah and his messenger, these are the rules. And this وَقَرْنَ فِي بِيُوتِكُنْ is embedded right in the middle of these verses because if you look even at verse 32, the verse right before it, and the verses prior to that too, they start out with, Ya Nisa an Nabi. O wives of the Prophet. It's talking to specific people. And thereby, the rules are for a specific set of people, the wives of the Prophet. And he says, Lastunnaka ahadin min al nisa. You are not like any other woman. Now, sisters, when people take something from the Qur'an and try to extrapolate it and apply it to everybody, you can see where the problem is. Let me tell you, in case anyone's still feeling a little like, well, hold on, isn't it supposed to be <laughs> that we understand these are the wives of the Prophet? What about and the mothers of the believers who have very special rules? Even after the death of the Prophet ﷺ, there's certain things they can't do. They can't marry anyone else. They are, they are there almost like an intensive um, training with the Prophet ﷺ to be the educators and teachers because they are the ones who are living directly with him. And they become the teachers <laughs> of our ummah, right? So, somebody might say, but wait a second. We thought that this was something that people often say. A woman's place is her home, a woman's place. Where is it coming from? 
Now, we have different ethnicities here, so let me try something out. I've heard with my own ears people who are, and I don't want to, and please don't be offended by this, but these are true statements that I've heard. I've heard some Moroccan people say, and very similar statement, by the way, by many of our um, Pakistani community, who will say something to the effect of, the woman only should leave her home twice. Have you heard this? She leaves her home, probably other ethnicities too, I'm sure. She leaves her home, her father's home, to her husband's home, and from her husband's home to the? A'udhu <laughs> billah. So you know this statement. Yeah, and you know it so well that you <laughs> immediately quoted it. Or I can't, I can't do the Persian, subhanAllah, but our Afghan uh, sisters will say, and you have to help me with the, the wording here, that a woman should either be home, kur, yeah, or, or what? Or in the grave. Kur. So you know the statement. Nonsense. Okay. When I was younger, I think I would have been a lot more careful and PC and careful with my wording. And I think after all the years of therapy that I've done and counseling of families and people, this is cultural nonsense. 